What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through, I believe, the Union Cave. Then we went in straight to the Slowpoke Well and defeated some Team Rocket members, and now it is finally time for us to actually go in for the next badge. That is the Azalea City Gym, or Azalea Town, I don't know. Both these places, like, they, they really confuse me. Anywho, off screen, I was training some of my Pokemon, and well, as you guys can see, I did capture Toxic Batman. Not going to use him on my team because, well, you know, you know how it is, guys. I kind of want to change it up a little. It will still get leveled up. But as you guys can see, I did train my Pokemon up to level 15, both Lucky and Togepri. And I think it's about time to, to you know, to unleash the, the beast right here in Cinder, yes, I probably should have been giving it a little bit more time to, to train and all that crud, but yeah. Anywho, uh, let's see. Now, the strategy right here is that I am going to take away the Shell Bell and give it to Cinder since it's going to be the one that's going to be doing the majority of the battles right here. So let's go ahead and give that to Cinder and... Uh, oh. Let's go right ahead and do this. Let's uh, let's uh, let's <laughs> let's go ahead and get this going. So here it is, the Azalea Town Gym, and the only man that's ever believed in us is going to be telling us, "Yo, Challenger, Buggy made this gym. It's a huge nest of Bug type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's he's a master Bug type Pokemon. It's going to be a tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug type Pokemon don't like fire. Flying type moves are super effective too. That is true." And, uh, well, it is time, guys. As you guys can see, it, this guy has puzzles for days. So, we're going to be uh, creeping and crawling all the way to this guy right here because he's, yeah, he's probably lonely. As you guys can see, there are switches that will, you know, that will bend uh, bend the little straws, or I don't even know what they call it. They kind of they look like, uh, they kind of look like, whatchamacallit, uh, Twizzlers or something like that. So, here it is, very first battle against Bug Catcher Benny. He, of course, will be coming out with his Weedle. This place is a Bug-type gym. Very, very notorious for put, putting uh, some effects on you. They might poison you, they might slow you down, they put you to sleep. They do everything, guys. Just make sure to have Pokemon that, you know, are, are well-leveled and... Uh, what else? Well-leveled and you, you're well-equipped because, yes, this place will try and test you. And as you guys can see, this guy's coming out with a Kakuna. This is going to be, this is going to be easy for the first part, and then after that, you're just going to be, you know, struggling a little bit. And yeah, this guy was smart enough to actually train his Kakuna line or his uh his Weedle line into Beedrill. Beedrill, of course, is going to be a little faster than than most Pokemon, but that right there defeats Beedrill. Mm-hmm. Okay, so look at that. We get some points. Cinder kicking some ass, taking some names. There we go. Okay, so that's one down. I'm not gonna mess with that lever right now. I still have to. I still have to battle that other guy. So I'm gonna try and get here. And uh, well, let's see. Funny story, guys. Literally forgot to make five episodes. So this episode right here is literally the like I'm literally doing it today, Friday. Uh, January, January uh, 20th. Yes, I completely forgot about this episode. Tried fixing it up last night, and yeah. To my surprise, I didn't make five episodes. I actually made four. That's why, you know, last day. Yesterday's episode was like, oh, well, he only did four episodes, and he's saying I'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my bad, guys. Anywho, let's go ahead and uh, continue our onslaught right here. Here we got a guy with a Caterpie. As many of you guys already know, Caterpie is not that great of a Pokemon, especially when it evolves. Eh, it's somewhat of a good Pokemon, but, you know, if you have patience for Bug-type Pokemon, then, you know, more power to you. Remember when I was playing, you know, the original versions, Red, Blue, and Yellow? Yeah, Caterpie was one of my main Pokemon to actually uh, bring out, especially when we're going up against Brock. That Confusion Attack actually worked, and, well... That right there is that, so now we actually, yeah, we actually have to go back to the left, the left spider or tarantula, whatever the heck this is. Who here doesn't like spiders? Comment down below. And, well, this guy is coming here, and nope, tricked you. Okay, so, let's see. The deal is this, if we hit the lever, it's going to take us to another spot. If we don't, 
it might hit it might it might go to the trainer which I kind of want to do yeah that that lever is gonna be to Bugsy so I don't want to battle him just yet and well here we have I believe a double battle could be wrong we got twins and Amy and Mimi yes it's a double battle right here so we're getting experience points for both Pokemon right here let's go right ahead I'm gonna take care of the poisoner you go right ahead and fix up the flyer and here we go ember attack for the win and spin rack yeah definitely not feeling that one right there and look at that cinder grows to level 20 and is learning flame wheel now this move is a lot more powerful than ember attack as you guys can see ember is a special attack and well flame wheel right here is a physical attack i think uh, i'm gonna go you know what i have a bad feeling about this i'm gonna go with leer right here because if i remember correctly cinder cinder's effect I think he's more of a special attacker than anything, but I kind of just want to be sure about it. If I didn't get it right, then oh well. You know, Cinder can learn another, another move, and look at that. We have defeated both these uh, book tap Pokemon, Amy and Mimi. Not so happy. Yes. Okay, so, let's see. I, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so, let's see. If we would have hit the lever, it probably would have taken us to that guy. So, let's see. Take this. So it will bend this little uh, Twizzler thing, and it will allow us to go to this guy right here. And this guy's gonna be like, You, s you saved all that Slowpoke? Woo, you're mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough too. They're all tough, until they get hit in the face. So, here we go, taking on Bugcatcher Josh, and he is gonna be coming out with some Paris right here. Paris, as many of you guys already know, one of our favorite Pokemon to use uh, TMs for, or HMs, I should say. Here comes the Flame Wheel attack. And this does it. Alrighty. Now, where there is a physical attack, guys, just just realize this. Some of these poison type Pokemon, some of these electric type Pokemon, they do have some status effect that will, you know, will hurt your Pokemon on, on contact. So just be aware of that. And we're gonna do this again. And this one will take us straight to I would like to say the girls again. We bend it again. And this one will prevent us from going to this homeboy. And it will bend the red straw right here. So there we go. And from there, it will take us straight to Bugsy. Ah, so we meet at last. Okay, so let's see. We haven't gotten hit yet. Screw it. We're going to do it. All right. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug-type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug-type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Here it is, guys. Gym battle number two against gym leader Bugsy. Now, before I realized that I kind of screwed up right here, I was going to do a gym leader bio, but didn't have enough time, so there will be gym leader bios coming in pretty soon here. And as you guys can see, he's got himself a Scyther. Scyther, a very, very, very fast Pokemon, does have the move uh, Fury uh, Fury Cutter. That move progressively, progressively gets stronger every single turn. And uh, with a Pokemon like Scyther, with its high, with its high attack, yeah, it's gonna be something. Now, it's probably a good thing that I gave uh, the Shell Bell to Cinder right here. That way, you know, we can actually hit this guy. This guy's gonna be going for a quick attack, but here comes the Flame Wheel. You get done with Scyther first, guys. You will be okay, because he does have some Shell Pokemon right here. So there we go, Scyther is down. And uh, Cinder, taking care of business. And gets all them experience points, and here comes a Metapod. Let's go ahead and share the wealth right here. Let's go straight for... Let's go for Togepi. Again, off screen, I was training my Pokemon. Now, these, these shell Pokemon are not the same kind of shell Pokemon you normally see out here. This Pokemon can actually attack, so... Yeah, we're gonna extra sensory it. As you can see, it tackles you. And here we go, extra sensory. This is the reason why I'm into Togepi right now, because it, it has moves like this now. It makes it a little bit more stronger. And we're gonna mess around with this Pokemon. It's gonna keep on tackling us, so let's go straight for Suikis. There you go. We're gonna mess with Bugsy. Yes, you are confused, my friend. And 
let's go around. Metronome attack. And it hurts himself, yes. Okay, metronome, come on. Do me a solid. Punishment. And that right there doesn't do much. So, let's go ahead and mess with this Pokemon yet again. And it's getting hurt by confusion. Here comes the metronome attack. And here comes a sucker punch. That didn't really work, so let's go with extra sensory. Of course, Bugsy is going to be smart enough to heal up his Pokemon right here. So, let's go extra sensory. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you try to mess with a Pokemon. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and just stomp on the throat. Come on, hurt yourself. And it tackles us. And, uh, okay, here we go. Extra sensory for the win. Come on. And nearly beats this Pokemon, so it might beat itself. Yes, it does. Okay, throwing out that piece on guy. That's all right. That's right. Okay, so there we go. It's another Pokemon defeated. And <laughs> has no target. So here comes a Kakuna. Now, this Pokemon, just like its counterpart, will try and mess with you. Because it still has its attack, one of its physical attacks or you know special attacks. It's a uh, poison sting, so we're gonna go with Fluffolt right here. And this guy's like, even though it's my last Pokemon, they're tough. Okay, let's go, Thunder Wave. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna mess with you a little. Yes, we're we're showing strategy, even though we shouldn't be showing these kind of strategies. And well, there you go, poison sting. And it hits us. Really? So you see, I hurt you, you hurt me. Okay, well, let's go with a Thundershock. And eventually we're going to have to heal our Pokemon because, uh, yeah, that's not cool. And Paralyze, you cannot move, homeboy. Okay, so we'll take one more poison and... God, God! <laughs> Forgot about it, Shed Skin. Okay, yeah, Shell Pokemon can do that. And just like that, Kakuna has been defeated. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, look at this. Fluvolt gets himself another level. I am throwing out that peace sign. He's like, yes, that's the end of it, homeboy. Gattaca. Whoa, amazing. You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win, take this badge. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing it out. Okay, so there we go, two badges in all. Do you know the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. Look at that, we get ourselves the TM89. This move is U-turn, it lets your Pokemon attack, then switch to the next Pokemon in your party. Isn't that great? It is. Bug type Pokemon are deep. There are many mysteries to explore. Study your top choices thoroughly. I will. Uh, I don't know what my top choice would have to be, but you know, I am studying. Uh, I am studying all the way. Now, I'm going to use my last antidote right here because we're not done yet, guys. Uh, we got some stuff. We got business to take care of. And, well, Cinder, you're kicking some butt, taking some names. I am happy for you. And, potion for Flavolt. And, let's get this guy right here. There we go, okay, so, let's get the heck out of here, okay? Um, I probably should have hit that lever right there. So let's try it again. Get the lever, that's right, and there we go, okay. So this one will take us back home, I hope. Yes, it takes us back home, and, well, let's see. Uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling kind of, I'm feeling kind of goofy that I, I completely forgot about this episode, guys. Literally wasn't gonna do it, but eh, it is what it is. We got it done. And well, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Yes, I have a feeling that there's a disturbance in the forest somewhere. So once you win, you're gonna get a call from Youngster Joey. Not really, but we're gonna be going right here, straight to the Alex Forest. And before you can hit it. Here comes your rival, Silver, and he's like, Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? <laughs> Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. Okay, here we go. So here is our third battle? Second? No, second battle. Yeah, second battle against rival uh, Silver, and he is coming out with his Ghastly. 
very good thing that I got Togepi with me because it's a normal type, can't be affected by ghost types, but it does have this move, extra sensory, that will mess with this ghastly, and oh wow. That can do something, because you guys probably already seen it in my Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Yes, I like using that strategy. Here comes Extra Sensory for the win. How's the field of fail? That's right. Okay, so Ghastly's done. And Togepi nearly grows to level 16, and here comes that curse attack. And, well, here comes a Croconna. So let's go right ahead and switch to Flubbolt right here. Croconna, of course, is the Pokemon that this man has, uh, or this boy has stolen from Professor Elm. So just be aware about that. This Pokemon's at level 18, and what we're gonna do is, yes, he's gonna try and slow me down, but I'm gonna slow you down, oh boy. So our, our thing, our speed has harshly went down, but you're harshly, harshly going down. That's right, Flubbolt does his thing. Now, I wonder who's faster right here. Yes, we're faster since it's no status effect, and here comes a Thundershock attack, and that nearly takes half its HP. Yes, Croconaut cannot move. We're being strategic. Gattaca. And here we go. And Croconaut nearly faints, and wow, he can't move. <laughs> this guy's not happy. And because he doesn't love his Pokemon, he will not heal him. That's right, throwing out that peace sign. That's right. Suck it, Silver. <laughs> and well, here's more experience points, and Fluffolt earns himself at level 17 right there. Look at that. And here comes a Zubat, so we're gonna continue on with Fluffolt. Alrighty. Say, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. Yes, I do. Alright, let's go back to the combination uh, 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 Thunder Wave, and of course, this guy is gonna be a huge, you know what, head. Getting us confused and all that crud, and yes, we, we pulled it off. Yes, Thunder Wave. That's right, who's faster now? I think I think Zubat's still faster because we still got that scary look on us, so no, we're we're definitely faster, so here we go. Thundershock for the win. And oh nearly defeats Zubat. And wow. Okay, so this is ridiculous. There's no way I can lose to a whip like you. <laughs> Man, this guy just does not take losing. He does not take losing easily. So there we go. Tackle attack for the win. And there you go. We get some more points. I am throwing out that peace sign. <laughs> Useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won because my Pokemon were weak. Or probably because you suck. I don't know. I hate the weak. Pokemon, trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see what's hanging around. Or I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They think they're big and tough as long as they are in a group. But get them alone. They're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. Wow. <laughs> Throwing at that middle finger, homeboy. I'm flipping you off. Okay, so <laughs> there we go, guys. So, yes, this is going to be a short episode. I was planning on doing some more things, but I got to get to work after this. And luckily, we got this off and everything. So... Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. And uh, yeah, for reminding me about everything else right here on my channel. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver, Heart Gold Soul Silver, I should say, next week. Again, guys, thank you for all the views and comments. I really appreciate them. If you guys want to make a small donation, there it is. Heart button's right there below. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. See you guys.